Thanks for coming in to Just Dodging. Today, we're going to review this wonderful little Craftsman Toolbox. I got it for Christmas. We're going to look at what the box has to offer. We're going to look at those options closely. We're going to inspect the box thoroughly. And we're going to find out why this option for this toolbox for your vehicle is far superior than just a regular bag. Also, we're going to look at maybe possibly doing some modifications to it to make it even more efficient than what it currently is. It's going to be a series, so stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Let's say, so getting started here, there's your part number right there. CMST9824RB. So let's start with the dimensions of this box. So according to the, the uh, information, it's actually 20 inches from here all the way across to here wide. It is 12 inches from top to bottom and is 8.5 inches from the front to the rear. The drawers are not that long though. They're not eight and a half inches. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it is all steel construction. We got two different locks and a place to put a padlock. Three drawers. It has a heavy duty lift on it. It's not a bad little box. Um, I think it's going to be perfect for my for the intended purposes, which is going to be a box to put in my older vehicles as I travel around and uh, show them off. I'll have a little bit of tools to uh, take with me. And it's a much better idea to have this than it is to have the bag. You have to dig around deep inside to find the tools you need. This one you don't have to. You flip the top, you pull out the drawers, the tools that you put them where they need to be are right there. That's a good thing. The drawers itself, they tout to carry 20, 25 pounds uh, of weight in each one of the drawers. And I can only assume probably another 25 pounds up here. So theoretically, you can have about 100 pounds of tools. That may be a problem later. We'll just, we'll sit that in just a minute. Let's take a look at the drawers. Okay, so we get to the drawers. We flip the two latches, which are not bad. Um, let me start off by saying that there are two different versions of this box. One is a Chinese version, which this one is, and they have the American one that's made here in America, but have Chinese parts on it. So the Chinese parts that I've noticed on both of them are going to be these latches. They're good latches, not the greatest. Now, I remember when I was a kid and I had one of these, the latches were a little bit stronger, a little bit thicker, a little heavier, but these aren't bad. Top up here is not too bad either. So we lift this up. And it has a bit of um, right in here, you can feel where you could the locking mechanism for the drawers are at. Because you can't open it this way. But the minute you bring it up here and it unlocks about right here, okay, then the drawers will come out. Not a bad deal. Ball bearings on here. And they are really, I mean, they're stout. It doesn't shake a whole lot. It's very, very firm. It's a good solid foundation on the drawers, which I'm actually pretty impressed with. It reminds me of my old Matco box I've got. Pretty stout. And it's, you know, for this, it's really good. The older one that I had back in the 80s was, did not have these. It's just a straight drawer and uh, very flimsy. They weren't exactly the best built and they were actually made in America. But this is a Chinese made one, the Chinese made version. I'm assuming this is all Chinese made on this one. There are ones out there, like I said, are American made. Up at top, it's a good solid. It's not, there's no, it's not flimsy. The metal's well put together. It's a thicker gauge than what I'm, what I'm seeing, you know, back in the old days. So for Chinese made, it's not half bad actually. Now, I have noticed on some of the American-made ones, they actually have little holes right here, little oval holes. The Chinese ones do not. I don't know why they put the holes there. I, I'm going to assume maybe to put screwdrivers or something in. I don't know. But they're actually fairly it's pretty solid. Okay? The locking mechanism is right here. And it's a shaft that goes down and locks on the back of the drawers. We'll take a drawer out and we'll take a look at that. And the hinges are actually... Pretty good. I'm surprised. One thing that I'm not real happy with is the way these handles are put together. These handles are just riveted down, very small, very cheap. The problem with this is, is if you actually have a hundred pounds worth of tools in here, 
I'm not really convinced that this is going to hold up for very long. But if you're just putting it inside your trunk of your car, you have the tools you need to, to fix whatever it is, these will do just fine. But if you carry it around a lot, you may have problems. So here's the drawers right here. And they do have ball bearings in here. Very nice. I'm going to get you in here, see if I can get you a little bit closer there. Get the ball bearings in there. Very smooth. And then when you put it in, it stops about right there. And then to lock it into place for the, the rear lock, push a little bit further, and there you go. Pull it out. It's a good firm release. Comes out. Very nice, actually. In order to take these drawers out, there is a little latch right here. Let me get my finger out the way. A little black latch. You lift that down. And it pops out one side, and you do the same to the other side, and you can pull this out. Okay. So here's the drawers. As you can see, they got the railing right here. Standard railing. You have this little flip, and I was wrong. What on the right side you push this down, on the left side you pulled it up, and then it releases. Let's take a quicker look at the bearings. Okay. Excuse the shaking, I'm kind of holding this now. So this is where they hook into right here, your drawers. And then here are the actual ball bearings. Very smooth. I would imagine if you grease these up, it would even be smoother, but they're actually very smooth right now. Also notice that so we don't have to come back in here. It has a wall in which the, the, the slide actually adheres to. They bolt it here. And you have about this much room on the front top part that we can do some stuff with. That'll be in a later video for modifications. But this is uh, this is your drawers right here. While we're in here, there is your locking mechanism. So, let me get this drawer out the way. When you close your drawer, it goes down and it locks right back here on the drawer. That's how it locks. And it locks directly to, let me see, right here. Can you see where the red's at, the red paint? That's what it locks into. Keeps everything secure. Now to put the drawers back in, you put them on the slide, thusly, get them started good, and then just shove it all the way back. And they click in, in place, bam. Done deal. And the side, you see it's eight and a half inches from here to here. The drawers are probably not going to be as deep. I did not measure them. Um, they look to be probably around seven and a quarter or so deep, but that's still really, really good for, you know, traveling. If you're a mobile mechanic, this would be a great way to, or a great tool to have when you're out and you're actually um, working on brakes or something, you can actually put all your brake equipment in here that you're going to use for the brakes. And the modifications that one other person had on, uh, I forget his channel, but he actually put wheel bearings, or not bearings, wheels on the bottom of here. That's actually a fantastic idea for this if you're a mobile mechanic and you don't want to have a giant cart out with you, but you do want to do your brake jobs or your front end work or whatever you're doing and you're down and, and you're underneath the car, you can roll this close to you and have all your tools right there readily available. Fantastic toolbox. So let's just kind of talk about the whole idea of this little toolbox here. It's an awesome little toolbox if you're looking for a DIY or or if you're looking for something to put in the back of your older vehicle, or even a newer vehicle for that matter, and you just want to have some tools with you in case something happens. Or if you have a friend of yours that needs help, they got an older car, they need some, you know, somebody to come and help them fix a, a starter or, you know, brakes or something like that. These are great little boxes to put all your tools in and head out to help. I would strongly recommend that you get one if you're, if you've been thinking about it, if you're saying, well, you're not really sure, you're on the fence about it, this, you can't just go wrong. It is an excellent little box. Rather, it's the American-made or the Chinese-made. They're great boxes. Now, one thing I will say, the American-made one, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the American-made one says it's only good for 25 pounds per drawer, and the Chinese one says 25 pounds. So you get five more pounds of the Chinese. At least that's what they advertise. 
I could be wrong. I might have been looking at an older American one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. I know that my old one that I bought back in 1988 said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was 18 pounds per drawer. Uh, so the bearings make a huge difference. The, you know, the, the construction of the box is really solid. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. The only thing I would say that if you're a, a uh, mobile mechanic and you're looking at something like this to be a, what I would call a ground cart, not actually a cart cart, but a ground cart, they actually make one that has four drawers instead of just three. That may be a more of a, uh, an option for you if you're a professional mechanic to have that, that extra drawer for whatever tools you're going to need for that specific job. You just have to add more to it. Um, I don't know where we're at with how much tools it can hold, but we are going to do that in a future video once we get the modifications done. There are three or four different modifications that I want to do to the box just to make it easier for me to add more space to what it has now. But it is an excellent box that you guys really need to look at getting this box if this is what you're looking for. Don't hesitate. Don't go, well, I'm not really sure. It's just a great little box. They make other boxes. Husky makes a box. Everybody makes a three drawer box. And why is that? Because when Craftsman first started this stuff 30, 40 years ago, probably even older than that, to be honest with you, it, it, was, it was a hit. And for good reason, they're solid little boxes. So if you're thinking about it, just pull the trigger and get one. You're not going to regret it. And again, thanks a lot for hanging in with me, watching my crazy little video. And if you want to see the uh, futures of the modifications and advancements to this little box, just Hit, click, subscribe, you know, and all that good stuff. I don't make any money on this YouTube thing. I'm just doing this for fun. So, you know, stay tuned. In a week or so, we'll do a modification, number one. We'll do number two and number three. Then we're going to look at seeing what kind of tools do we want to put in here. I am a professional mechanic by trade. Uh, I am, I've, I've got my idea of what, what good tools are. You probably can already tell. Um... And we'll talk about that at a later date. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later. And uh, look forward to doing the second video. Have a good one.